So hello guys, welcome back to the channel once more. My name is Adam. In today's video, see, um, before I start, I just want to say this, patience pays a lot. If you have a lot of patience, it really pays a lot. Why am I saying this? See, um, Mohamed Kudus has become a huge interest for Manchester United and the reason why I'm saying patience pays a lot is, you know, Mohamed Kudus was trying to force his way out of Ajax during the transfer window. They saw the likes of Anthony all leave, Martinez all leave to Manchester United and um, Mohamed Kudus was trying to force his way out. In fact, he was going to Everton. Everton that is now struggling in the relegation zone of the English Premier League. He was trying to force a move to Everton. But whoever advised Ajax and then the camp of Mohamed Kudus to take their time really did him a great deal because after the move didn't go through, we all saw the qualities Mohamed Kudus possesses when he plays for Ajax. In fact, in the era of DBC, he has scored 11 goals and 2 assists. 11 goals and 2 assists, not talking about his exploit at the World Cup, a monstrous performance for Ghana that got everyone talking. In fact, when they did the best players, the best African players during the World Cup, Mohamed Kudus made that list. So, just looking at how the, the whole thing played out, Manchester United now interested in Mohamed Kudus, the likes of Dortmund, Barcelona, they are all interested in Mohamed Kudus. I just I want to say that patience is very good. If you have patience, good things come to you. So, let's just apply this to our normal daily life. If, if you rush, you normally you know, tend to go in for the wrong things. But sometimes when you take your time and you are very patient, the good things rather come to you. So I'm just happy for the way things are moving for Mohamed Kudus. Currently, he has a muscle injury, which is going to put him out about two to three weeks. But he will be available for Ajax to play the KNB Cup final against PSV. Also, we are going to follow up on the interest for Mohamed Kudus in the transfer window. There are a lot of clubs really interested in Mohamed Kudus. A lot of people were like, ah, after the World Cup, no thing is coming up for Mohamed Kudus. And why is everything like so quiet about Mohamed Kudus? I think they are working behind Kudus doors. And Ajax season has not yet ended. And Mohamed Kudus is an important player for Ajax this season. They are not just going to let him go in the middle of the season, just like that. So they kept or they kept a hold on Mohamed Kudus, which I think is the right thing to do. Now, in my opinion, Mohamed Kudus to Manchester United is he a good move? To me, I don't think it's a good move because um, I feel like he should go where he was going to get a lot of playing time. Maybe Dortmund is Milan. He should go to a team where he's going to get a lot of playing time, not Manchester United. Reason being that we have seen players who are exceptionally good, but when they play for Manchester United, because of the pressure from the fans, from the ex-players, from the media, they tend to discourage these players. And we are seeing something like that or something similar happening to Sancho. Sancho was very good for Dortmund, but uh, Manchester United is a whole different thing. It's a thing it's a whole different player with uh, Manchester United. So I believe with um, Manchester United, Kudus might not get a lot of playing time. And also, the coach Eric Ten Hag, when Eric Ten Hag was at Ajax, Mohamed Kudus wasn't getting a lot of playing time. Reason being that he got injured when he was about to pick off. He got injured and then he lost his position to another player who was Anthony. Now, when he lost his position, it was very difficult for him to come back into the team. And I don't think that would be a right move for Mohamed Kudus for a coach who doesn't really believe in you that much. Even though he and you were in his team, but you were not getting a lot of playing time under Eric Ten Hag. So I just believe that he should go to a place where he will be much appreciated rather than coming to Manchester United where there will be a lot of pressure and a lot of scrutiny based on whether he performs or not. A place like Dortmund will help him nurture them more. Maybe after two, three seasons, he can now move to a bigger club. So this is just my opinion on Mohamed Kudus move to uh, Manchester United because Manchester United have reignited an interest in Mohamed Kudus. They see him as a potential target for the um, transfer window, and I just I just don't see that as a good move for Mohamed Kudus at this moment. But you can let me know your opinion down below in the comment section. Do you think Mohamed Kudus to Manchester United is a good move. Let me just know, do you think it's a good move? Because I, I honestly don't think it's a good move. Yeah, that is me, my opinion. So let me also know from you, what is your opinion? What do you think about this um, Mohamed Kudus move to Manchester United? Mohamed Kudus is a good player, we know about that. But you don't have to move to um, a team where you're not going to get a lot of playing time. And Manchester United is that kind of team. You can be good, but when you get there, 
it's a save you have not played ball before di maria the p you have still need helping to a lot of players and shares so i just feel like he should go and nurture somewhere i was let's say in the german league and uh, bundesliga or something like that and then come to the english premier league that would rather beef him up a bit and increase or make his cv very rich and that is my opinion about Mohamed Kudus move to manchester united i i really don't think it's a good move for Mohamed Kudus, yes, I know people will be like, are you his manager, are you blah, 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 but it's just an opinion, so let me also know your opinion down below in the comment section. Yeah, so that's all we have for you based on Mohamed Kudus and the interest for Manchester United. Thanks for joining us, don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and also don't forget to leave a comment down below. My name is Eden Charlie. Au revoir.